What's going on, friends? We're gonna do a quick little run through today on doing some weather stripping replacement on your, on your door. So when I close my door, I can see the light coming in. That is not good. That's a huge gap. So we're gonna fix that because obviously there's gonna be air coming in if you can see daylight through there. So we're gonna pull this out. Our particular door, uh, we, we did just buy a house earlier this year. So there's all kinds of odd and things that we're having to go back and fix. And they've got some kind of other weather stripping stuff that's it's like a glued adhesive thing there. I'm gonna try to scrape that off, but uh, oh, I'm also pulling this off, old alarm system. Uh, but hang out with me just for a few minutes. Uh, we're gonna run to the store. We're gonna get some weather stripping and uh, we'll be right back and I'll show you how to knock this out. Feel free to go ahead and give us a like and a subscribe right there. There you go. I'm sure this is gonna be an awesome video and I'm sure you'll appreciate it. And with that being said, let's get out of here. All right, so these things are pretty self-explanatory. Brown ones, white ones, darker brown ones, tan ones. We're probably just gonna get a few of these. We need one for the actual door on the right, but then the overhead has another one as well. So I think if I buy two, I can just trim this one and uh, we should be to go. What are we looking at? 13 bucks, so about 28, $29 total with tax. Seems easy. Let's get out of here. Hey, kitty, 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 kitty. We got a new cat. He's cute. Well, I'm an idiot. I really don't understand exactly what the mental process of my brain was when I decided that I only needed to get one for the right side and the top. I, I, I really just had a brain fart and forgot there is this left side. Um, but all things considered, I'm probably, you know, I'm going to do that, but I don't think that's going to be quite as big of an issue as that. Uh, and this looks like, you know, a dog chewed it or something, which is ridiculous. I don't know how a dog would sit here with the door wide open and chew this and not run down the neighborhood. But this stuff literally comes out. You just grab it like this right here. And you want to pull it. Oh, man, look at this. So, well, that's good. I'm glad that that's, uh, that's happening in the video because that presents a challenge for us. And we just love challenges. Come on. All right, let's go get some pliers. All right, so maybe we can just grab this here. Ah. And there you go, it just rips right out. Hope everybody had a good week. You have a good day. I'm sure you'll be doing a lot better once you get this done. All right. So as easy as that is, sometimes it does uh, be a pain on you and you have to get resourceful if you don't have any pliers. Probably could have used, uh, you know, anything that would grab something. This stuff seems to be coming off somewhat okay. Probably use some goo gone and try to clean up this, this part here, but this may or may not chip some of the paint. It depends on how old your trim is around your door. Painting sucks. I'd much rather do this all day. Painting is awful. God bless anybody who has to paint anytime ever. It's as bad as moving. That's also terrible. All right, so the new seal is basically just gonna slide back in. Just like the old one. All right, so this is just gonna pop back in there. Just kind of press it in with your finger. And we are a little bit long on the bottom. That's okay. So I'm just gonna use a razor blade, cut this off. You could probably use a pair of scissors, but you get the idea. Easiest project thing ever. You should, uh, guys, you should definitely tell your wife, hey, you know what? You should tell them, I think, I think I need to replace the seal on the front door, babe because we're losing too much energy. I'm wasting all this money on our heating bill or whatever. And then once you do it, she's gonna be like, girl, let me tell you what my man did yesterday. 
I am so proud of him. Boom, brownie points. Okay, well, we've replaced that, so a little bit better. Still a teeny tiny gap. It's all right, that's a, that's a heck of a lot better than, than what it was, so. I am pleased for the 30 bucks, how that turned out. Cool, that's it. Thanks for hanging out with us. As always, please give us a like and a, and a subscribe. We definitely appreciate that. Uh, you guys have so, shown a lot of support this year, especially on videos like this, and I just wanna thank all of you for that. Please throw a comment uh, or hit me up on Instagram, and we'll find out uh, if there's some other stuff you guys wanna see. Oh. While I got your attention on that, we are gonna be putting in a vanity in Corbin's bathroom. So that'll be probably one of the next big videos. We've got some challenges on this one uh, and you'll see. So uh, look, just stay tuned for that and uh, we'll catch you. Thanks for hanging out with us.